Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Night Grab Bag. I didn't have anything else lined up, so I figured why not do a nice soul Link to the Past randomizer. Um, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. Why not Why not do a, a fun little rando tonight? Oh, well, we got a normal open key sanity. We also turned on crystal rando as well, so... Could be anywhere from 0 to 7 crystals to get into Ganon's tower, and 0 to 7 crystals to be able to to hurt Ganon, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it goes. Not expecting a whole heck of a lot here, but we'll do our best. In 3, 2, 1, go, 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 go. Let's, let's, do, let's do our best here. Let's do our best, Luigi. A little piece of candy from the start. Okay, not super good. Not a fantastic start. By any stretch. Ooh, big 20s on the tree pole, though. Sure, sure. Uncle Desert Palace. Okay, Desert Palace small key is interesting. Oh, sword. Wow. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Good, I suppose. How about some bombs too, right away? No. Okay. Well, having a sword is pretty good. Okay. There's something a little fudgy with my audio here, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, or maybe I won't. Or maybe I won't. Okay, never mind. That's fine. I guess we'll just deal. Okay. Um, hmm. It's in Sanctuary for Thieves Town? Yuck. Alright. Not terribly exciting. Early sword is interesting. Um, that's nice. Usually it takes me an hour to find a fucking sword. Ah. Wait, actually, I want to make sure we get uh, money off the tree pole here. Oh, yeah. Some cash. Oh. The crab drop, though. Ooh. Bombs for the crab drop. All right. Yoink. Hell, yeah. Get one more of those on our way through the woods. Full set of bombs. What about Lumberjack Ledge? Oh, it's a small key. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Well, we can't call that one dead just yet. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a small key that we're gonna need. Cause boy howdy, I don't really feel like doing Ega 1 tonight. That'd be real bad. That'd be real bad for me. We have enough bombs there. Ooh, three hundo on the mushroom spot. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Give us most of the way towards um, Zora Cash. That's interesting. Don't quite have the cash for that yet, but we definitely got enough for, hmm, for a uh, bottle blender. Cool one hundo going out the door for that.
funny. Ten arrows, boo. Very small key. T-Rock, okay. Big old 20 there. Hell, we might even end up with Zora Cash after this is all said and done. <laughs> Almost looking that way, isn't it? 552 buckos out of blind set here. be enough for Zora money. Even after blowing a hundred bucks on the bottle vendor. Ooh, flippers. Well, that just encourages us towards Zora, doesn't it? That for Hera. Eh. Terribly exciting. We can find out what's in there, though. It's a crystal or a pendant. And which one it happens to be. Oh, lamp for a hundred buckos. My man. What a deal. Extremely early lamp, too. Excellent. I don't really like dealing with dark rooms, so I'm always happy to see that. bottle here. Be all kinds of convenient. Nope, it's a key to pod. Okay. Such luck. That's alright. The lamp alone makes Kakariko kind of good here. Even though I've done pretty much all the dark rooms at least once before, except maybe a couple of them. Except for any of the dark mazes, really. So the one in Pod and the one in Aga Tower, really. Every other dark room I've done successfully at least once. Without a lamp. Not exactly exciting, some of them. But, uh... Now that we don't have to worry about that at all tonight, that's great. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Typical South Shore play here. There's not really any cause to break off our route here. We do have the flippers already, so we can go do the Zora checks and shit. As well as speed up some of our routing here. Oh, and there's a flute. Alright, good. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Some fast travel super early on. Just gotta go activate that some bitch and we'll be ready. Sure. I've always found these seeds usually tend to push me towards Dark World early, so if we can get some early health too, that'd be good. Let's survive a bit. Put 
mind getting a few more bombs too here. 20 buckos, 20 buckos, 20 buckos. Oh my god, come on. There's <laughs> candy and 50 buckos. Wow, okay. What a bust. What a freaking bust that was. Ah, that's cute. Luigi gets a, a little face mask for swimming. <laughs> Good on him! This is a smart play. Like, protect those eyes. It's a good idea, Luigi. It's a real good idea. Meh, we only really need one of those, so we're good. Good to go there. Watch, we're gonna get tons of them now. Since we've got clippers, we may as well do hobo. We can check Hylia Island. for Zora and Waterfall and Zora Ledge and see if that's going to pay off at all. Unfortunately, we're not going to low our crystal counts for a bit until we get Dark World access. At least for Pyramid. And until we can get up to Dark Death Mountain for Ganon's Tower. Still kind of play this straight until we can figure out some info here. Oh boy, ten arrows. Thanks, buddy. Real helpful without a bow. Shot on Lake Hylia Island. Wow. All right. Well, good to know. It's gonna be a while before we can get that, though. The Dark World access and uh, a mirror. Key to Thieves Town. Nice. Okay. Read over to Hyrule Castle. All right. One of the most. One of the most useless ones. It's up top on the ledge, so I don't give a shit about that. Five hundred bucks get us today. The hundred bucks got us the lamp. What does five hundred get us? A key. Wow. All right. Or a castle tower. Damn it. <laughs> Not exactly very valuable. But once we get access to Ega Tower, though, we'll have access to two locations. That means an, either another sword or the cape to get in there. Now let's go activate that lamp so we got some er, lamp. Activate that flute so we get some fast travel. Sparse items after our first go around the light world overworld here. But we know where the hookshot is, so that's good. Got a fair few movement items already. 
safety against dark rooms. sort of item-dense locations and get the rest of it taken care of before we start doing anything else. Let's start with escape, or front half of escape, rather. Be able to hit dark room, or dark cross on the way through without pulling any weird garbage either, since we've already got the lamp. Good, good, good. Three more of those, and then maybe a, a blue mail that will be set for the rest of the game. I'm really curious how Luigi's clothes are going to change if we do end up getting the blue or the red mail. about for a bit. Okay, good. <laughs> Wasn't a full refill. my luck, probably not, but you never know. Could be the hammer. Or some Mario or the mirror or something. Something real important. Nope. It was neither of those. Okay, well, at least it's off the table. Ledge. Don't really care about that. So kind of useful. Not terribly so, though. Put back in 
escape a quick three check. Maybe hit the mountain or maybe hit Sister Shabershaber. A quick three there. Do we have anything else that might get us actually into a dungeon? Of course, there's the front bits of Eastern. Can always get to. I'd really like to hold off on going there until we at least get the big key. This palace compass. So there's the swamp small key, and then there's a bee in a bottle. Okay. right away here. So we got that bottle. Hmm. Kena Samaria. Wow. Okay. That's kind of helpful, isn't it? Sick kid. This one's pretty easy, either from the front or the back side. Just gotta watch that hole there. Service of 50 rupees. She thinks, I guess. today. Alright, well we can check what's on top of Spec Rock, and we can check what's inside, and get what's inside if we need to, but... A terrible amount of value up here, I'm sure. Oh, never mind! There's the other gloves up top of Spec Rock, huh? We need a mirror before we can get that. And a book inside, wow, okay. Death Mountain with a little bit of value. Does get us into desert with a lamp and a way to do damage. We could actually finish off desert entirely. So I think we've got that small key. Yep, we do. Oh, except we don't have the big key. Never mind. Oh, the sanity strikes again. Piece of heart and a chest requiring a specialist. All right, so that means we don't need to do purple chest really. But, it does look like it's pointing us to desert, either desert or Shashurshtaber. Um, hmm. You know, let's do desert first, since that seems to be where it's pointing us. Check what's on the torch, we can get one, two, three. So slightly less item dense than Eastern, but. Mm. Kind of equal value depending on what we see here. Yeah. 
should check the torch first. I'm gonna have to go back that way anyways. Oh well. Money there, kind of shitty. Oh, moon pearl though. Excellent. <laughs> Good value, but uh, still kind of worthless to us without a hammer or that second glove. Torch is just 300 bucks, so we don't really care that much. That's Darkness Big Key requires the hookshot. Okay, well, good to know, I suppose. Alright, so that leaves behind, what, two items? The big chest and the boss? Either of which we can get to without the big key. So that leaves us with Sushurshtaber and the Eastern. amount of time whether I walked over here or fluted, but eh. too late. We made our choice. Green pendant and desert. Ah, okay. You got it, buddy. Back in your Closet of Mystery, a burrito for Thieves Town. Ten arrows, and small key to tower. Okay, so that's both the castle tower small keys. Um shit. Well, that might mean Ega 1 will be our Dark World access because uh I don't have very many other options here, do we? We still need another sword or the cape to get up there though. See what this three to four items in Eastern does for us. Should be able to get to four. We should be able to get all four actually before we need the big key for the others. So okay, four chances to give us a whole host of different things here. There's the cape. All right. Well, there's Ega one. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that might be a mixed blessing, actually, considering that small key on Lumberjack Ledge. Dang. <laughs> Can't get away from doing Ega one, can we? Well, at least we're pretty well kitted out for it. I'd like a, a much better sword than what we got, but... Wow, okay. Both of those tosses. And a mirror. Okay, well, 
<laughs> then that uh, then we don't need to go do Agawan actually. Piece of heart is in the castle. Okay. There's one of the items kind of sorted out on its own. I may as well just do Aga 1 regardless, though. Because we know there's two items up in the tower, one of which is a piece of heart now. And then there's that small key on Lumberjack Ledge, which I hate seeing there, but whatever. We do get into Dark World, we can get hookshot. Now I'm thinking which way would be more effective, though, to actually do Agawan. Or... Just go straight for that Titan's Mitts up on the mountain. Hmm. have either of the keys for Hera, so we're kind of boned out of there. Well, let's go... We're gonna have to do both eventually, I think, so let's just do Aga one right now. Whilst we're thinking of it. So that'll at least get us into Dark World here. We can check Pyramid and... Um... Catfish and... Hype Cave, and then... Uh, maybe get a couple more of the south side checks, and then we can mirror out, grab mitts, and then consider what else we can do after that point. Because once we reach that point, we'll have a lot to do. Oh, I'm glad we had a touch of magic to do that. I wasn't even paying attention to our magic count. Ugh, this is just so dumb with a plastic sword here. Eight spins, my goodness. The, by virtue of the hint we got earlier, the other item is going to be a piece of heart. So kind of a bust. For the items in Aga Tower. Womp womp. Maybe it was referring to uh, one of the items we got in front of Escape or something. Because that could be. We did get a piece of heart in front of Escape. Alright, I'm not sure if that was going to be the one they were referring to. Alright, well, whatever. Not necessarily needed to do that, but hey, the extra heart. the hammer. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm not sure if that was a, a legit hint tile or not.
a little bit less specific than some others. Alright, I'm gonna mark off the purple chest so we don't go for that one too. So that was trash, wasn't it? One blue ball, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two blue balls, ah, ah, ah. Second cycle, at the very least. Three out of four. Alright, let's eat Shade Ega one. We're now in the Dark World. Oh, we can't get down to Hype Cave, can we? Shit. Well, we should at least be able to get Pyramid Catfish and then the Hook Shot. Right, because we don't have the hammer. Big old 20 on the pyramid. I suppose we could at least open up. We could at least open up pod and get like the front door. Or the, the very first item in there, because if they dump something of progressive value in there, and I leave it for later, I'm gonna be really upset. So maybe we'll do that as well. Whilst we're in the area. We really don't have a whole heck of a lot else we can do. Like, it's Pyramid, it's Catfish, it's that first thing in Pod. And then it's... we can go up to Hera. Oh, we can get the mitts off of Spec Rock and we can get a couple things in here. Huh? Then after that, it's like, well, <laughs> we're kind of stuck without some value here. Oh, baby's for a shield. Hooray. Particularly exciting there. that we can get, because we don't have any key. Oh, wait, we do have a small key, so we can get, like, maybe two... Yeah, maybe two items. Three. No, three items. No, four. We can get four. Items. Never mind. Okay, so there's a little bit more value in pod here than I was anticipating at first. Let's see, we can get the one on the left side, and we have to bust through the front door. And there's the one on the path to the right, which is free. Suppose we could get even more than that if I don't waste my key. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do some very weird routing through pod. But we're gonna maximize the number of items we can get out of it. Since I only want to come back here one more time once we have all the rest of the keys and shit. If 
play the door a few once. We'll get the one thing on the left hand side here. I had a potion we could, uh... I don't know, we can't bypass it entirely, even if I did have the potion for potion glitch, because we don't have the hammer. Mm. So, I guess we'll put our key to good use. Hooray, 20 bucks. Thanks, pod. our key on them. Oh wait, we already burned our key. That's right. Shit. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I thought I had a second key. Okay, there's only one more item we can get then, and then we're out. the key to this dungeon. Alright. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Pod. Thanks for being a slippery little bitch there. <laughs> Giving me a key. Ugh. Alright, now we've got the key to the back here. So this will get us one, two, three... Yeah, three more items. Lineup. I don't know the setup. No one desire to try. All right, so there's one. It's kind of a bust. Two more down here, and then we're out of pot. Iron acid small key. Huh? Another key to pot. Damn it! All right. Well, that gets us two more. <laughs> Pod, you cheeky bitch. <laughs> alright, alright, okay, fine, whatever. T Rock small key, so we're up to two of those, I think. Pod ended up being kind of a bust, despite giving it, despite giving us like two additional keys to itself on the inside. Well, all right, we got one more item to take care of before we leave Dark World for a bit. Go down and get that hook shot off of Lake Hylia Island. Which I think we can get to. Yeah, should be able to get into the water from just south of Pod here. Try not to eat it on our way over there. This whole bombing thing. Alright. So give us our hook shot. Ba -da -da -ba! Excellent. So now, that actually really opens up a whole lot. First, we're going to go up the mountain, get our mitts. That will open up the... Oh, I, I forgot to check how many crystals for the fucking... Ah, I'm an idiot. 
I forgot to check the crystals on the pyramid. All stuff is there. Oh, that's alright. Well, we'll get that on the next trip through. Because now, sir, I think we should have enough gear and such to check the crystals outside. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I want to do, uh, I want to grab the mitts first. Jump the gun a bit. Grab the mitts, go down, go east side Death Mountain, because then once we get the mitts, we'll be able to do dark side east Death Mountain. Which would be nice. And then we should be able to check crystals on G Tower, which will also be nice. on ether tab small key of evil's bane all right so that's the g tower small key i don't think we necessarily need that might already have one or two of those nope well we know where to get it if we need one which we probably won't check two items here one in the basement this side and then that center chest there Medallion, huh? Alright. Shovel is in Skullwood. Alright, good to know, I suppose. Big key. Big key to Meyer. Mm. Terribly exciting there. light and dark EDM. I believe. Yep, that's good. Small key to pot, alright, that's number four. Burrito to the desert, okay. Particularly care about that. We do. Big key to ice. Uh, ten arrows. Not great. Hey, whatever. Uh, messing this bomb jump a lot recently for some reason. Hey, you're at the Mondar. How you doing? Let's see. You. Okay, so with the hook shot and Titan's mitts in hand. Clear out EDM. Picked up a couple big keys. We've got one more pod key. Know that we can really do much else. We've got a big key up on Floating Island, which is actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, okay. Spiral, and then head into Dark World. It hasn't been a bad start, certainly. We had a sword in less than a minute. We had the lamp 
right away in Kakariko, which was nice. Flippers were super early. Flute was also early. So we've got a lot of, like, really good items and shit. Hey, there's a Master Sword, too. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. We haven't had a lot of dungeon progress, but I kind of expect that with Q Sanity. Like, you gotta really get your shit in a line before you start tackling dungeons. Just don't have the access you normally do on non Q Sanity. Alright, so now Dark Side EDM. We can get that big key off the floating island. Let's try cross keys. What's cross keys? I don't think I've heard of that. What does that mean? Oh, key sanity and entrance rando? Oh, man. No, uh, I'm not able to do entrance rando with or without key sanity. I'd like to maybe eventually work up to that at some point, but we're not ready for entrance rando. Okay, so we did super bunny chests. Let's check what T-Rock is gonna ask of us here. Yeah, I'll say uh, the first couple randos I did were a little intimidating. I had watched a whole bunch of them before I had even tried my first one, so that certainly helped. It also helps as this was a game I played very extensively during my youth, so... Made a goodly amount of sense for me to start with this. Burrito Eastern isn't very exciting. 50 bucks is also not very exciting. Ice Rod is not exciting, but it's good to see. Another 50 bucks. Alright. The Hookshot Cave's kind of a bust. Uh, Ice Rod. Oops. Cut that one a little short. After we get off of Death Mountain here, we're gonna have a lot of places to go. Since we now have access to West and Southern Dark World. But before we leave, we wanna check the crystal count in front of Ganon's Tower. The big key of T-Rock. Well, not exactly what I wanted to see. That's right. Except we're gonna have to be careful here because we're not gonna be able to <laughs> be able to really plow through these lionels, so we'll just cape on through. Excuse me, sirs. All right, what are we dealing with here? It's not a zero crystal. Four crystals to get in. Okay. Okay, that's um, that's average. That's average. Yeah, I know the game audio is a little fudgy. I'm not 100% sure why I couldn't fix it right before we started, so... We'll just have to deal. Um... What do we want to do now? I guess we'll get out of here. Actually, what I should have done before is check crystals for, um... Pyramid, but I did not. So, we will do that quickly. Before we continue our adventures in Dark World. sample rate thing that I need to set. Just changed emulators that I was using, so that might be part of it. Just don't have the right settings, but... Eh. Can't be arsed to stop the entire thing and, and change things. So we'll just deal with it. I really should have checked this the first time I was around here, but I forgot, so well, let's see what we got. So it's four crystals to get into the tower, right? What do we need to actually harm the big bad? Three crystals to beat him. Okay. So either way, it's going to be four crystals. Uh... 
That's good. I'm glad it wasn't like six or seven. That would have been annoying. That would have been annoying. But alright, so now we can get over to Dark World by Kakariko. Instead of going all the way around to the south. Which we could have been able to do if we had the hook shot a little bit earlier. But nah. I'd rather not do that. We don't need to, because it takes a long time to walk all the way around. So, I guess... Well, I'm gonna second-guess myself a little bit. Let's go to... Skull Woods. The front half of Skull Woods. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. Do we have a key? We do have a key, so we can drop down and do our thing. No Fire Rod, so we can't do the back half. But that's alright. Maybe we'll get lucky and find it right away in here. Bands. Ouch. <laughs> Oops. Okay, uh... It's gonna be ultra-aggressive here, excuse me. Two more items here. The one in the... Well, yeah, two more items. Oops, well... Pay attention to where I'm walking. Yeah, the one in the room to the right, and then the one to the room directly to the north. And then that will be it for Skull Woods. For the time being. And that guy bowing me through the wall. Yeah, that was a little curious, wasn't it? I didn't think they could throw their bones through that uh, little raised wall thing. But hey... New things every day. Oh, that's right, the shovel. Okay. The hint did tell us the shovel was in Skull Woods, but I guess that's good. That knocks a fetch quest out, and we'll kind of be on our way to do it anyways. The compass of Skull Woods. Hooray! Alright, so that's the extent of Skull Woods for now. can shove things. Yeah, isn't that really uh, kind of curious, huh? You call it a shovel, so why don't we shove things? I mean, I suppose you could shove things with it. Wouldn't be exactly efficient. We got up there. Piece of king. Don't care about that. We get paved north of Graveyard as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to find just 20 bucks in a cave, IRL, but right now, not very valuable. Alright, so that takes care of that. We can do Village of Outcasts, maybe... Actually, wait, what do we have for... We've got the big... Oh, okay, so we've got the big key to Thieves Town, but not the small key, so we can do the front half. At least get us four items, and then we got the three in the village surrounding it. And we can do the rest on our way through. Mm. 
Twenty bucks. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, Sea House. Pretty good. Compass. The Canis Tower, thanks. Fucking worthless. the weather vane dungeon, right? Well, we can do the first half. We don't have the small key, or no. Wait, hold on a second. We can do most of Thieves Town here. We can do the front half. We do have the big key? We do have the big key. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking only doing the front half. We can get the four items in the front half, and... We're missing a key. So we won't be able to get big chest, but we should be able to do the entirety of the rest of the dungeon. Which would be nice. So we'll be leaving one item behind, which is unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? Even if we did have the small key, we don't have the hammer to get to it, so... No big deal, I guess. Best. Fact. Unless we get the hammer and the dungeon itself, which wouldn't be bad, honestly. I'd rather have it than not have it. Small key to ice. Alright, so we've got two ice small keys, I believe. If we had some sort of fire, we could get in there and take care of that. But no fire rod, no bombos means ice is off the table. That's okay. I don't really like ice. Ah! <laughs> That's a funny spray. Short-lived though it was. Classic Luigi sprite there. Knock out one of the four that we need. But we won't know until we complete it. I don't think we've got the burrito. Actually, do we have the burrito? Oh yeah, we could have checked before we went in, but eh, too late. Might be worth a map check when we get out. Ha! One of the two single ass roots there. Fight. We've got blue mail, three and a half hearts, maybe a few more by the time we actually get down there. Or a few less if I get fucking pushed into the goddamn corner. Thanks. Eight holes. How about a heart drop or three? Bastards. We'll get a couple on the prison approach here. by something before I pick up these couple. Mm. Got a 
kind of a bust on the other items. until things become dire, like now. There we go, easy peasy. All for 20 rupees, gee thanks. And a crystal at least, please? Thank you. Okay, good. That leaves one item left, and... I'm gonna guess it's a normal crystal. It might be a 5 6 -er. There's crystal number one. And it was a normal. Crystal number seven. Okay, good. One of four in the bag. We could technically defeat Ganon with what we got. Prefer to have better shit though. At least a tempered sword. And we still oh we'll still need a bow at some point. Hmm. Five digs in. Big key to Hera, okay. Take care of that. Ooh, let's do a quick map check here. How many other burritos do we have of various dungeons? Just T-Rock? Five, six, or... Alright, I think we've got a couple Light World burritos too, so that'll help us out. We're not going to need to do the purple chest because we found a hint earlier that said it was arrows or bombs or rupees or some garbage stuff that we don't care about. Now with mirror in hand and the shovel in hand we can do the rest of these overworld checks in one pretty solid go here. Stumpy, that takes us up to 10. That's good. That's enough health for us, pretty much. Let's grab the 100 bucks, why not? Kind of a bust, though. Alright. Last really major spot we need to hit here before going elsewhere is the 
Good old hype cave. Let's see if that five items has anything of value. Wander around and find a few other things. Well, that's not a good start. Ten arrows. Big key to Skull Woods. Okay, I guess. Fifty buckos. Another heart container, sure. Hey, there's a bow. Excellent. Thank you, Hype Cave. Alright, well... Do we have the Eastern Big Key? I don't think so, right? Nope. Fudge. But, we do have the Hera Big Key. Put myself right on top of the fucking bush. Nice. Good job. Hmm. So we can't really do Eastern. We could go do Hera. I think. We should have the big key to Hera, I believe, right? Yeah, we've got the big key to here. We don't have the small key so that other basement one's gonna go unchecked. That's right. Uh, ice is still a no-go. We can do the very first one in Swamp, which is kind of garbo. Let's see what it'll take for... Ooh, we got Ether for Mire. That might actually be enough to finish off Mire. We can get in. We've got Samaria. We've got the Meyer Big Key. Should, yeah, I think we'll be able to take care of Meyer. We may as well do that, I suppose, whilst we're here. Oh, we could have done Bombo's Tablet, too. For... Meyer, that's gonna be good for eight items, maybe? Possibly another crystal. I'm terribly looking forward to uh, fighting Vitruus with Master Sword, but you do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. Strange and key sanity not to have a Meyer small key. The first go in here. But we know where one is guaranteed, so. We sh well, actually, this is gonna be interesting now. So we'll definitely need one to get to the left hand side. Oh, hey, there's the G Tower big key. Alright, we're set there. Uh, hmm. Actually, this is gonna be kind of curious. Technically, don't need to full clear Meyer. I can just go straight for the boss, really. But 
really would hate to leave all these items behind. Hmm, okay. We'll, we'll just have to do a, a kind of a silly route for this, that's fine. We won't have that small key for that other door. Well, maybe we won't. I don't know. It's gonna be fun. Fun old time trying to route this without having an excess of keys like we usually have. Vanilla big key spot. Big chest. Chest on the way back to the north. Chest in the center. And then that should be it, I think. be able to get back up there, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, alright, we'll just have to go around. In an odd way, but that's okay. Prevent us from having to dig up another small key. <laughs> the map of my energy, thanks! Now we know where to go. Powder or something. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit squiff. We 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 gotta fight Vitreus with two and a half hearts. Key to thieves. Oh, there's the small key to thieves. Okay. Exactly cool. Big key to Eastern. Hey, that's good. We can go do Eastern. Just the one. Okay, so three and a half hearts is better than two and a half. Boy, howdy, that's not a very comforting amount of health to have. My best to avoid getting hit on everything here. Well, 
Good work. waited to let those dudes go by and they didn't appear, so... Awesome. Oh, okay. I pressed the button to go invisible. Didn't like me doing that. Alright, well, this is gonna be a challenge. <laughs> it's gonna be a small challenge. Let's do what we can with the equipment we've got in the hopes that we don't need it. Extremely close. Step out before I get bodied there. <laughs> this is still a very tense fight of this little hell. Ooh, especially when I almost missed the swipe there. Oh my god, come on! Ugh. Well, that was stupid. That was my fault, though, for being not good. bombs and the magic to deal with this now should be okay. Hey Omega, how you doing? Let's see. Just this top one. Oh, the middle one was the heart, right? Another heart from that dude. Thanks. That will help. Oh, except I'm gonna need some magic. Okay, good. It's <laughs> hoping that was that's. It's hoping that was gonna be a full thing. Okay, 
That's what I wanted to do before. I ate my input or something. Who knows? Get a couple bombs up there. Health that fucker has. Ah, for 20 bucks, thanks. <laughs> ah, hey, there's Crystal 2. Halfway there. Alright, so then we got the. Eastern big key out of that mess. I think it's also Crystal, and also is Hera. That's good. Uh, huh. We might actually be good to go, then. Hmm. Boy, this would be real dicey if we went straight for the end now, huh? Yeah, we might be able to pull this off. It would be a... Spin Strat Silverless Ganon fight, and I fucking despise that, but we may as well give it a try, right? Alright, you know, well, let's go for it. Let's go for it. We just need two more crystals to get into Ganon's tower, and then we only need three to hurt Ganon. So, after these two are done, we're, we're ready, pretty much. I should have enough health. I'm gonna probably grab a potion at some point because, oof, it's gonna be a dumb fight. It's gonna be a dumb fight if we don't find either tempered or silvers on the way. It's gonna be a real dumb fight. But I don't think I've ever done a combination spin strats and silverless. I've done one or the other, but never both at the same time, so this is gonna be mm, exciting. But we've still got some chance to make that not a thing. <laughs> some items to get on the way. Hopper drop there. It's really once we get up to G Tower, we can go straight for the end. We need to grab a small key on the way. Thanks, burrito. Just call woods. Thanks. We need to grab a small key on the way, which is easy. That's just on the left hand side. We already have the big key. We already have everything we need to get up there. And then we'll be right outside, and actually if we take Dark Side Death Mountain to get into there, we can just mirror out right in front. Get to Hera, and then portal back, and we'll be right in front of the tower, and everything will be fine. What a good route. 
What a good, accidentally reasonable route. Yes, ladies. Easy peasy. It's crystal number three. Should be all the items now. Bonk bonk. how this goes. <laughs> Even if it doesn't work the first time, we're probably just going to keep slamming our heads against it until it does work. Because that's just how we do sometimes. But this would be a heck of a go if we could make this happen. This would probably be a good sub two hours. Which I'd be okay with. I'd be okay with an early night. Get some rest. Been real tired the past few weeks. <clears throat> I started playing the last this week, and oof, I have a lot more appreciated. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking tough game. Like, it's not unfairly difficult. Like, if you go through it from the beginning to the end, you'll definitely pick up enough skill and practice in order to be able to beat it. And that's kind of the beauty of the design of it, really. But yes, it is a very difficult game from the onset. Oh shit, I don't have the hammer. Okay, we're not going to be able to take this portal. Take the one down below. Yeah, I'm sure you can appreciate how excited I was to beat uh, Core Seaside then. Because <laughs> that shit was fucking... Oh, that was rough. <laughs> or rather, the, the golden strawberry of course seaside. My god, that was a... That was a struggle. But it was worth it. It was worth it. It was a... Uh, achievement well earned. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spoil you on the seasides, but yeah. <laughs> a and B and seasides. Absolutely there are. Oof. They 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 get rough. They get kind of rough. Don't uh, don't get discouraged though. Don't get discouraged. Thankfully, the B and the C sides are shorter than the A sides, as kind of a recognition that uh, that they're tough shit. <laughs> that they are tough shit. How do you unlock the seaside? Ooh, that is a good question. I'm not 100% sure anymore. It's been a time and a half since I've had to do that. Um, without spoiling too much, I guess, uh, there are certain things that you have to do along each of the A-sides, I believe, in each level? that will unlock the seasides. Or maybe, is it something in the B side? I don't know. You'd have to look it up. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but um, yeah. There, there's something that you have to do to unlock them. Whether it's getting an, is it getting an item? No, because unlocking the B sides was getting the, uh, 
Unlocking the B-sides was getting the cassette tapes, right? Unlocking C-sides... Uh... Hmm. Maybe you have to beat the core on B-side first before it does that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Now I'm gonna have to go look it up. Because now I'm real curious. Now I'm real curious. This is the Bambos. I guess we'll just pick up some items on our way through. In the hopes that it'll be tempered or silvers. Well, no go there. looked up one or two things as I was going through. There's no shame in doing that, I don't think, like... The availability of my time to push my head against something forever to unlock everything is... vastly lower than I would like, so I don't think there's any shame in looking up how to unlock the more esoteric things. Fuck you, Wormulon. Well, another heart's good, too. There's crystal four. We won't need any other crystals. Yeah, the hearts, the more obscure hearts were definitely a look-up thing, because I think I was like 50% there on some of them, but the last kind of step of it was just kind of, eh? Is like, fuck this. I got things to do, man. <laughs> In the Ganon's Tower by Buck 38. Just need one small key and then we can head to the top. Yes, alternatively, we can check through some of these other chests in the hopes of getting either more health or another bottle or anything to help us with this upcoming fight. Half magic is an excellent, excellent pickup. Powder is also good. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling better about this now. Wow, half magic. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better about it. I guess we can't even go any further because I don't have the hammer. Alright. That's fine. I don't think I need hammer on the way up, do I? I don't think so. I think we should be good. Should be alright. What we got? We have to be a bit careful about my arrow usage, though. Ain't got a whole lot of them to spare. Um, excuse me, sir. Oh. Oh. Couple more arrows here. Ouchie. Oh, well, it would help if I didn't fucking miss. Considering we don't have silvers, I'm not really too concerned about my arrow count anymore. <laughs> I'd really like to have more arrows, but it's not a requirement. I will be a bit careful with my health and shit, because that's a bit more important of a resource now. 
Heart, but I also know that there's an anti fairy around here. I think in the next room. It's okay. Or a little swirly gig thing. Uh. door to close because there's a weird glitch where if the door closes on the same frame you ascend the staircase things get a little fucky. I don't know how people figured that shit out but they did. Uh, actually I gotta watch the pattern on this a little bit. Okay. Oh, what? How did he body me back off, you little asshole? Right. Okay. Uh, is this a heart? Yes, good. There we go. Didn't think of the right pattern there. Usually I have the fire rod and everything's fine, but... Last chance for some good shit here. Well, besides validation chest, I suppose. Nuts. The red stuff... It was red stuff, but not the red that I wanted to see. Oh well.
don't <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Last chance. Couldn't get it. Alright. That's alright. That's okay. We've got half magic, we've got 12 hearts, a single ass potion. Deal with this garbage, though. A little bit silly. Rip Wizard the second won't be bad. Ganon's gonna be a bit stupid though. Mm, good, missed all three of them. Perfect. Oh, you pee hole. That should have counted for two. There we go. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well. This is going to be a little rough. Six and a half arts is not super good. But we'll try it. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. We're gonna- if- if it looks like we're gonna tank it, I'm not gonna use that potion. Alright. Let's- let's try it. <laughs> I don't even remember the- oh, fuck you, really? don't remember the count that we need for this, either. Would you fucking really- Ugh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I hate the bats so much. Okay, that's right. Intentionally did not use the potion there. Okay, um... Seven hearts. Okay, that's a half heart better than what we had before. Not that it's gonna matter too much, based on, uh... Based on how much damage he's doing just on a single fucking strike here. God, fucking angle on that is so dumb. Oh, he did that. Three hearts at a crack. It's so lame. Come on, man! The Got radar up his ass or something. Great. 
this fight so much. I even have tempered. A lot of dumb bullshit. Especially when I'm not in the right position. Oof. Oh, come on! I went a pixel to the right! That was just barely enough to hit me, a-hole. Okay. Okay, I don't want to use that potion until we get to phase three or four because it's the only one I got. <sighs> God, fucking lame ass angle. Just get out of here. I guess we just need practice with this, it's alright. Easy peasy. Cool. Oh yeah, so I was shocked that that one didn't hit me. Well, yeah, that one sure is though. And nowhere fucking else to go. Pick a fucking direction, you cocksucker. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright. Being super dangerous. Oh, and he still fucking hits me on the run. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh god. Yeah, alright. Um, shit. I'm gonna fall right there, aren't I? Fucking ass. Ugh. Kidding me. It's in the one corner that starts at all the... You know, so dumb. Is there anything up here? I don't even remember. Oh, it's just a fucking hit tile. Uh, so what the hey-ho can I do here? Just... Just eat shit and... Start back at the top of the pyramid since we've already killed Egg of One, right? So fucking stupid. Alright, do it again. Really? Just hit him! Ugh. Great. Love these first couple phases. They're the best. They're the best. Love it. Here, probably. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> this is my fault for trying to cut that too tight. <laughs> I thought better of that one.
Do it? I don't know. I haven't been keeping count. Okay, so I want to be ready so he doesn't do his fucking stupid, dumb bullshit flame ring garbage. He's gonna be able to do it there. Oh wow, still got him. Nice. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we have to be... I did not find the arrows in the dark world. Oopsie. Oh, god damn it! And I missed fucking Torch Glitch, so that's good. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Okay, this is gonna go very poorly now. Couldn't even get that one because fucking <laughs> so irritating. And one. We need to do it like 24 times because we've only got Master Sword, so that's fun. That's fun and cool. Doesn't help that I can't fucking get a good angle on him either. It's super fun and cool. this as close as I can on the magic, because with only the one potion. Good. <sighs> some gum. Get him that time. Never get fucking close enough in time because it's just fucking zoning me out of everything. Okay, hole. I never get close enough and I never have enough time to do it. If I get bopped one more time, I'm dead. So that's super cool. <sighs> Fuck you, man! there. 
knocked out one. <laughs> Amazing. That didn't count, excuse me? Fucking, oh my god. These hitboxes are so fucking stupid. Of course, it is a one frame window, so, you know. going to opposing corners every fucking time. I'm gonna get that one. Yeah. Thanks. There. <laughs> Was that one out of like 20 fucking attempts? use out of it. Also not wasting my hearts. Okay, good. It's a nice double. Come on! God, the timing is so stupid. Oh my god, thank you. Good lord. <laughs> the fight took like 15 fucking minutes. I hate it. Good gravy. I hate. I hate, hate, hate not having tempered. Even more than I hate not having silvers. Jesus. Oof, I can't even imagine if I didn't have at least blue mail there, I would have been toast on one hit. Golly. But all right. Just let this scroll by. Unfortunately, I can't fast forward given my current settings, but we'll just enjoy the nice five minute credit scroll or whatever. Get a chance to finish our drink, considering that was only 210. Two hours, 10 minutes, 41 seconds, not bad. We didn't visit like one, two, three, four. Well, we didn't visit three of the dungeons at all. We barely scraped a couple of them. But, that's what happens when you only need to get four crystals out of seven. So 
took us more than an hour to get the first one. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Big oof. But hey, we did it. We did it, and it's done. And the next one we do, we're gonna hope that we get tempered. <laughs> tempered and or silver. Because shit. Because shit. That fight sucks without either of those. What Zora Zora had? I don't remember what he had. Oh. Hmm. I think it was a small key to something. I don't remember though. That was like an hour and a half ago. Hey. <laughs> So it occurs to me we probably could have skipped Rank of One. Although with the number of times we died against Ganon, having Ega One down so we could appear just at the top of the pyramid was worth it. Just on its own. Kid Samaria. Jeez. We got a, a fair few of the key items like right away. <clears throat> and our item menu is very patchwork. Oh, forgot to mark that we have powder. <clears throat> yeah, very, very grid like. No hammer, no fire rod. That's ridiculous. No boots kind of sucked, but we got early flippers, early flute, early sword. We knew where the hookshot was from almost the very beginning. So, I guess not awful. Not my most favoritist of runs. <laughs> Unknown hat. What the hell does that mean? Oh, is that is that red mail maybe? Must have been a progressive thing. It's unknown whatever is a I think a progressive item. Yeah, we were able to skip T-Rock, which is awesome, skip Ice, which is awesome, skip Swamp, which is good. I don't think we double-dipped anywhere, actually. Oh, well, no, we double-dipped Hera, which is fine, it's a tiny dungeon. Did we double-dip Eastern? Did I do- oh yeah, I did double-dip Eastern as well. But none of the Dark World dungeons we double-dipped, we went into Pod early with one key. And then we never went back, which is good. Uh, we did the first half of Skull Woods only the one time. We did Thieves Town in one go. We did Mire in one go. And the rest were just kind of eh. Didn't need to do it. Fuck that shit. That's right. Run done, drink done. If this were mid-run, I would probably go get another. But as we are in the credits, we will just let this play out, and then we'll call it a night. Rest up for tomorrow. I'll figure out what the hell the weird sound issues were with the game. That was very bizarre. Just gotta do some poking around. That's what I get for changing emulators. I mean, uh, changing consoles. Or I could get off my butt and use my actual console, since I think I've got everything I need to hook it up. 
Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'm too lazy to do that right now. <laughs> Maybe for next time, or the time after, or the time after that. I've had it for months. Like, I've had all the gear for it for months, I just haven't bothered. I really should. I really should. Then we could do other things on the actual console instead of, uh, doing the whole emulator route. <clears throat> That's a lot of work in that. I think it's perfectly legal to use a ROM as long as you own the equivalent physical copy. Yeah, the legality surrounding that is really fudgy. Like, you're allowed to do dumps of your own owned cartridges for backup and or archival purposes. So you could, in theory, extend that to whatever games you own. Getting a ROM of it is just fine. Um, which is perfectly fine for me, because I've got a ROM of this game. Or, I've got an actual cartridge of this game sitting upstairs. Um, but yeah, I think that's the general legality of it. It's been a huge cluster. Just all the time. All the time, it's just a massive ass cluster. But the idea that they could go after everybody who uses a ROM is just fucking stupid on its face. Like it would even be worth it. Yeah, let's go after a, a person playing a ROM of a game from 1991. Yeah, that's a real fucking good use of time. <laughs> It's so stupid. So absolutely ridiculous. Of course, Nintendo is one of the worst offenders of that shit, honestly. They are extremely protective of everything that they've ever done and or touched. Which, you know, I can respect. I can respect they're still making money off the IP and making new titles and shit, but honestly, the... The kneecapping of ROMs and emulation as an ability to go back and play the classics is ridiculous to me. But hey, we did it! 127 on 216, not bad, not bad, not bad. No pendants, just really good. Whew. Okay, well that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT, via South Android Cactus, campaign run plus speed run, and an infinity drive, and a, probably a daily thereafter, because that's how we've been doing things lately. Turns out to be about two hours, roughly, so it's a real, real good timing. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.